Ressentiment Postmodernism A psychologically darker streak runs through postmodernism, one that none of the above explanations has so far captured. The above explain postmodernism as a response to extreme skepticism, as a faith response to the crisis of a political vision, or as an unscrupulous political strategy. Those explanations connect the epistemology and the politics of postmodernism, and they resolve the tension between the relativist and absolutist elements of postmodernism. In the Kantian explanation of postmodernism, the tension is resolved by making the skepticism primary and the political commitments secondary and accidentally associated. In the Kierkegaardian and Machiavellian explanations, the tension is resolved by making the political commitments primary and the use of relativistic epistemology a matter of rationalization or political rhetorical strategy. The final option is not to resolve the tension. Contradiction is a psychological form of destruction, but contradictions sometimes do not matter psychologically to those who live them, because for them ultimately nothing matters. Nihilism is close to the surface in the postmodern intellectual movement in a historically unprecedented way. In the modern world, left-wing thought has been one of the major breeding grounds for destruction and nihilism. From the reign of terror, to Lenin and Stalin, to Mao and Pol Pot, to the upsurge of terrorism in the 1960s and 1970s, the far left has exhibited repeatedly a willingness to use violence to achieve political ends, and exhibited extreme frustration and rage when it has failed. The left has also included many fellow travelers from the same political and psychological universe, but without political power at their disposal. Herbert Marcuse, with his explicit call to use philosophy to achieve, quote, absolute annihilation of the common sense world, unquote, was only a recent and unusually explicit voice. It is that history of left thought and practice that more moderate left voices, such as Michael Harrington's, took pains to warn us about. Reflecting on that history, Harrington wrote, quote, I want to avoid that absolutist view of socialism that makes it so transcendent that true believers are driven to totalitarian rage in the effort to create a perfect order. From totalitarian rage to nihilism is a short step, as Nietzsche noted in Daybreak, quote, When some men fail to accomplish what they desire to do, they exclaim angrily, May the whole world perish! This repulsive emotion is the pinnacle of envy, whose implication is, If I cannot have something, no one can have anything. No one is to be anything. Unquote.